couple of things I want to do real quick. I want to share three things. And if you can get these three things, you'll get the nut and bolt of, of what we're teaching at the first part of Colossians because it sets the tone for the rest of it. So listen to verse 15. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things are hold together. Repeat after me. Say, so Jesus, Jesus is Lord of the cosmos. Now, that was the first thing I was trying to get a couple of weeks ago when we started the series. And let me tell you what that means. Um, I had, golly, the most phenomenal time in my life in Pittsburgh this past week. It was just the most amazing thing. Um, you guys have heard of this guy named William McDow McDowell, right, the singer? Um, William, William was there, and we kind of got a chance to connect. And uh, he, phenomenal preacher. He's a, he's a phenomenal preacher. Most of us know him for singing. Um, but he helped me preach my message this morning. Uh, he did. He, 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 he helped me. Did, did he do it, y'all? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, they were like, dang, yeah, yeah, y'all. Even Bernard fell out. It was just that good. Yeah, no, I'm just messing. But, but here's the thing that, one of the things that he talked about, Lucifer being in heaven with Christ and all that stuff. And in the passage in, um, I think it's Ezekiel, that's, or Isaiah that says, I saw Lucifer fall from heaven, Right? And, and here's how we, we, we do this. Um, um, there was a war going on in heaven. There was a struggle. There was a fight. There was all of that stuff. And um, William said, let me tell you how long the fight was. He said, I saw Lucifer fall from heaven. Yeah, he said it was that long. Yeah. Some of y'all are still missing it because this is a heavy series. Yeah. It wasn't no punch. It wasn't no back and forth. It, it's, it's Lucifer disobeyed. God said, get out, and he fell. That was deep. That was deep. That was deep. That, that's, what, that, that's to tell you, when I say he is Lord over the cosmos, there is no fighting going on between God and the devil. I want y'all to hear me. I want y'all to hear me carefully, okay? You don't find scriptural references of God fighting with the enemy. I want you to hear me when I say this is the first point I'm trying to get you to understand. I had to use a lot of terms to get there. So it's like, it's like Lucifer showed up and, and that worship piece was just so heavy the way he shared that. But he just said, I saw Lucifer fall from heaven and went to the scripture and then, oh, bam. And that's, that's heavy stuff because check this out. Then in the New Testament, Jesus comes on the scene and listen to how scripture says it. He was led in the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And here's how to fight. Get thee behind me. That was the extent of the fight. Are you with me? Because he is Lord of the cosmos. Okay, there is no Satan putting up his duke saying, bring it on, Jesus. Um, he tempted him, but Jesus didn't yield to the temptation because he realized that he is Lord of the cosmos. So he doesn't waste time engaging the enemy, and the enemy doesn't cause him to run. I want you all to hear me say this, okay? Because here's the thing, and this is what Colossians is trying to teach us. In Christ, and I'm getting ahead of myself, is the fullness of the deity dwell in bodily form. You and I, because you've accepted Christ in our life as Lord and Savior, have the same authority and power over the enemy, okay? Don't try to fight him. Tell him where to go and tell him how to get there. And here's going to be the result. I saw Lucifer fall from my presence. It should never be, man, I'm wrestling with the devil. I'm fighting with him. He's, he's taking me through. What kind of foolishness is that theologically? You have dominion over him if God is Lord of the cosmos. Come on, is this making sense? So you ought to tell him where to go and how to get there. You see, a lot of times the problem is not between you and the enemy. It's between you and you. 
And to justify the fight, you want to bring the enemy on board so you don't feel so bad about you fighting with you. Point one, he's Lord over the cosmos. Are you with me? America is a superpower since this is Veterans Day. And a lot of us will go on mission trip and we will walk into those foreign countries with a level of confidence and, and protection. And are you with me? Because we know that that. America has established itself as a superpower because of its military. You, so, so here's what the U.S. has done, is that it has established embassies in a lot of these places that it has dominated. So even in a foreign country, they're still lord over, even though the country has its own government. So here's what will happen. You'll go there, and if they decide to invade the Americans and the territory, here's what the word will be. Get to the embassy. Yeah. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah, yeah. come on, y'all. Okay? And, and, and if you understand that as Christians, here's how I'm going to say today's message. As long as you stay in the embassy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's no war going on. I want y'all to hear me, guys, okay? You, you, you have, you have, you, and, and the problem, here's how I was trying to explain it Wednesday, is that you have a lot of people that don't know who they are in Christ, and they go through all that struggle and all that fight unnecessarily, mature and grow up in Christ. So he's, come on, say with me, say he's Lord over the cosmos. That means the spiritual realm, okay, the spiritual realm. He's in charge. He's, he's over that. He's dominated that. Okay, the second thing is that he's Lord over the earth realm. Come on, say he's Lord over the earth realm. Read with me. Go to, go to verse um, 18. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. He is everything that he might be preeminent. And man, this verse still messes me up. For in him, all the fullness, Greek word plethera, um, pleroma of God was pleased to dwell and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven making peace by the blood of the cross. Calvary was deep. Okay? Reconciliation happened. So not only did God dominate the cosmos, but he became Lord over the earth realm. Let me give you one thing so I don't mess you up. Here's how he did it. And I don't have time to go through all this because I'm supposed to do this in two minutes, and I'm one minute and a half right now. Um, <laughs> he comes into satanic domain. But let me back up. First of all, he defeated the enemy in his domain. So I saw him fall like lightning, right? So he falls to the earth. So now Satan is the prince of the earth. A couple of weeks ago I said this way. The problem is we live in the earth with the enemy. So here's what he does. He brings himself down to the satanic domain in the form of flesh. I'm trying to deal with that. And then... He, 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 let me say this carefully because I don't want y'all to misinterpret me, what I'm saying. He gave in to the influences and the powers of the earthly realm. Because at the end of the earthly realm, you die. So he gave in to death. I want you to hear how I'm saying that. Death didn't take him. He gave in to death. Okay. So here's Satan. Don't mess with my territory. I kill you. And so Satan now is celebrating because he has Jesus dead. And he thinks it's over. Here's dominion. He got up. <laughs> this is heavy. This is heavy. This is heavy. Heavy. So what he said, Satan, not only am I Lord over the heavenly realm, I'm Lord over the earth because you really don't have control of me. You kind of get what I'm saying? And here's the connection with us. Even though he may kill you, he can't keep you dead if Christ's in you because Christ has the ability to raise you up. Does this make sense, guys? So, so I want you all to hear me say this, okay? In the earth, the challenges, the struggles, the trials, the things that you go through in the earth realm, don't let that keep you in a posture of death. You can have victory over it. 
okay? Now, here's how I said this Wednesday. I want y'all to be clarified because somebody's asked me, well, preacher, what about people who are sick and you pray for them and they still die and all that kind of stuff? Here's what I said Wednesday. The earth is not your home. Okay, this is important. And, and because the earth is not your home, here's the third thing I want y'all to understand. He comes into the satanic realm. He gives you a level of dominion. And watch this. And he reconciles you back to himself. Come on, say he reconciled me. Reconciled. Say it again. Say he reconciled me. Reconciled. Here's the beauty of reconciliation. Let me read and I'll explain and I'll stop because I want to pray for you this, this evening. Verse 21. Okay. And you who were once alienated and hostile where? Doing what? Yeah. Man, you know, uh, let me, this is, y'all deal with this when you get home. That word, that little phrase, uh, nomos in mind, it kind of really, really messed me up this week. Because, um, you know, you read, just, you're, you're, you read this passage a million and one time, and then I, I think I was on a plane last night, one o'clock in the morning, and saw that word again, in mind. And it says, and you who were alienated and hostile, where? Doing what? Let me tell you what I like about that phrase really, really quick. Um, here's what in mind means to me, and y'all can deal with it. Um, it's like if Annette, Annette come, and this is what we think the enemy does. He come, give me your hand, girl, okay? And don't let this go to your head, okay? I don't like you like that. Okay, yeah. Um, no. I'm fine with that, too. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm just messing with her. And he comes. This is what we think we, the devil does. He comes and he grabs us. Come on, get, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on, get up. I got you. Yeah, just, just, just go for it. Just go for the ride. And he just takes you. I'm trying to see a single dude. You ain't gonna get, you're not going to get jealous, right? You okay? Okay, good. Go right there. Say, okay. say, what's up, baby? Just go with me. Oh, what's up, baby? Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then all of a sudden, he takes him by the hand, and he grabs him by the hand, and then he takes the two of them, and they end up in a place where they shouldn't be. Oh. Going back to see for your wife, come get you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. He doesn't yeah. do that, okay? The battle, yeah. yeah. Very, very important principle, okay? He comes and he messes with the mind, and the only way, reason he can do that is because God has already defeated him, and he fools you into thinking you are what you are not. Are you with me? So that's why scripture is so clear in Ephesians chapter 6. The wrestle is not flesh and blood. Yeah, Ooh, right. It ain't about Annette getting up and going. It's what you think because here's the scripture says, as a man think it, so is. Yeah, yeah, let me leave that alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the thing that I want y'all to get, redemption means that God has come to, let me use some scripture real quick, to renew your mind so we can realize who he is and he has come to restore us, to reconcile us, to put us in a right relationship with him. But hear me carefully. The goal of the restored relationship is not to inhabit a sinful earth. Okay? So you weren't saved to finish life on earth. And I'm saying this quick. You were saved to hang out here till heaven is done. So for those of us that are fasting for the cars to drive here on earth. I prefer to drive my Beamer on golden paved roads. <laughs> I prefer to have my mansion. Come on, y'all. Where? Watch this, watch this. Where, where the property values don't go down. Because here's how he says it. Thieves doesn't break through and steal, and their boss does not corrupt. Do you understand what that means? I want you all to hear me. But, but we think reconciliation is for the earth, and because we forget that the earth is not our home, we're praying to God for earthly stuff. And because some of us, let me get in trouble, have so missed it, we've started this thing called a prosperity gospel to make you to think it's all about here. I, here's me. You can have yours here. I'm going to take mine. 
Let me show you this new scripture real quick, and then we're going to stop because I want to pray. Back up to verse 1 now. Back up to verse 1, and I'm done. I'm done. Okay, back up to verse 1. I mean verse 3. Verse 3. You guys are there? <sighs> let me show it real quick. Uh, now let me get ahead. Let me see here. To walk in the manner. Okay. Verse 3. We thank God always, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints because of the hope that was laid up for you in heaven. Of this you have heard before all in the word of truth, the gospel, which has come to you as indeed. Okay. Um, I'm going ahead of myself. Let me back up real quick. We thank God. Verse 3. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus, because of the what? Love that you have for all the saints. And verse 5, because of the what? Hope. That's what I want to get to. Laid up for you, where? Okay, verse 5 again. Because of the hope that is laid up for you, where? One more time, verse 5. Because of the hope that is laid up for you, where? Okay. See, this is, I'm just going to say this and I, I'm going to stop. Oprah don't have a whole lot of money in heaven. So if you're praying to be like her in a place where the moth can corrupt and the thieves can break through and steal and where the stock market can go down and where this thing will do away, I'd hate to be you. The Colossians had their priority prioritize with God one. In their weakness, they could be strong because it wasn't about this. So this thing is for us to understand that the hope is what? Here's how Jesus said, in my father's house are many mansions and many rooms. I go to prepare a place for you. If I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again to take you unto myself that where I am, there you may what? Be also John. Very, very important, okay? So what I'm trying to teach you to understand is how to live on earth with a heavenly mindset. Okay? And Christ in you enables you to defeat the demons of the earth while you're living here waiting for God to take you home. Okay? I said this a couple of weeks ago. Quit fighting the wrong fight. Let me go back to the top. Christ is Lord of the cosmos. William McDowell said, and he quoted scripture, I saw Satan fall from heaven. When the enemy comes to attack you, just make him fall from you. <laughs> right? Don't waste time. Don't, no battle. No need to fight. Um, because let the Christ in you fight for you. The same thing in the earth. And when you have struggles in the earth, you put your eyes in perspective. You already have dominion here, but you keep your eyes on the things of God. And the good news is God has redeemed you by the blood. And I don't have time to deal with all the words. I picked that up next week. But I want you to know, if you have accepted Christ in your life as Lord and Savior, um, golly, let me just read. Let me read this real quick. Let me read this. Go to Colossians chapter 1. Um, jump down to verse 21. And let me read this tonight. I promise you. Come on, worship team. Come on, worship team. 1 and 21. Yeah. You guys are there? And you who were once alienated and hostile in mind. Okay, I like that. Because if you've been fighting with you right now, doing evil deeds, you have now been reconciled in the body of the flesh by his death in order to present you, what's the word? Holy in what? And what else? Above reproach. Where? Before him. And look at verse 23. And I'm still fighting with this verse because that conditional clause, if. Don't know if it's third case or second case, but it's an important thing. If indeed, who? Do what? Where? Okay. And then watch the next phrase. Stable and steadfast. Not what? Shifting from what? The hope of the what? That you what? Heard when it was proclaimed to you in all creation where? And then look at what Paul says. Of which I became, yeah, diakonos is the Greek word. Okay? So, so here's how he's saying again. Let me read verse 23. He has now reconciled us in his body of flesh by his death in order to present me, Felix, holy and blameless and above reproach before him. But there's a condition. I have to, yeah. This is where I'm at with the translation of that phrase right now. And if somebody knows something different, tell me. I don't think this is a, 
a salvifical term, meaning I don't think it's messing saying that if you don't do this, you're going to lose your salvation. I don't think it's doing that. I think what it is saying that God's going to present me holy and he's going to present me blameless and he's going to present me above reproach. And I think that phrase says, if I stop it. Turn your neighbor and say, neighbor, just stop it. Yeah, yeah, tell our neighbors, other neighbor, just stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really, because here, here's my problem. I, I'm, I'm promising you I'm done. Um, I'm saved, and I think because I'm saved and I can't lose my salvation, I can do whatever I want. There's a condition there that says, if you're dumb enough, and I, please, I don't want to offend nobody, to think that you can be a Christian and do what's and ever you want. That's how grandma then would say. Yeah. Are you with me? When it comes time to be presented before God, the conditional clause says, you might not be holy, you might not be blameless, you might not because you didn't stop it, and the question is going to be raised, if you can continue to do it, were you really saved? It right? Because here's the other side of Colossians. If the fullness of God dwells in me, there is no way on God's earth that I can continue to sin without conviction and not have God in me. So, so, so here's the thing, here's the thing. If God's in me, then, then his goal of coming in me is so that he can say, hey, Daddy, check this out. I know what he did yesterday. I know what he did this morning. I know who he used to be when the enemy has his mind, but I saw Satan fall from lightning like him from him. And, and so when you look at him, your blood is covering him because he's changed some behavior. Because listen to this. Here's how I said it when I first started. He didn't know what he didn't know and he kept doing. But because he found out what he didn't know, he stopped it. Okay? So the prayer is for strength so that God can present me blameless. So here's my prayer this morning. <sighs> that we would grow to stopping it. And for those of us, and the reason I'm using inclusive pronouns is because I'm in there too. And, 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 and if you were here saying, I'm praying for y'all, I'm just stop lying. Because you in there too. Are you with me? Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I know I didn't see you. But you in there with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you, you, you in there with me. And so I want to pray this morning. I really want to pray that God would give us strength. And then here's the other side of the prayer. That, that somebody is, is, a struggle has you, right? And this is where intercession comes in and all that stuff. That, that we've been so encroached by the enemy for so long that he has us trapped and we don't know how to get out. That's real. That's real, that's real, that's real, that's real. Some of us don't know how to get out. And so we'll leave here and go back to the same stuff that we left. Yeah. Or we'll stop for a little while, then we'll start up again. Okay? Stop it. Okay? But, but it's very elementary to say stop it. I want to pray that the Holy Spirit will come on you to enable you and empower you to be able to stop it. Does that make sense? Are you with me? So I'm going to invite our eldership to come. Elders in training, y'all come too. I want to, I just want to, I want to, I just want to pray. I want these men and women of God, um, to just, y'all spread yourselves out. Um, my heart is heavy this morning because the church is filled with a whole lot of us that don't know how to stop it. And if you're a couple and you've been married for a long time, going through a whole lot of stuff, um, we want to pray with you too. If you're a single person, an individual, we want to pray with you too, okay? We want to pray that, that, that Christ becomes the center of everything that you do. Okay, um, First John 1 and 9 says, if we forget our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive. And then to do what? Cleanse from all unrighteousness. Here's the beauty of Calvary. There's nothing you can do that God's going to say, oh my gosh, I can't forgive that one. There's no such thing. We will never surprise him. So stand to your feet this morning. Stand to your feet. Jesus at the center. And if that's you this morning, we just want to touch. We just want to touch. We just want to touch you this morning. 
We just want God to be God this morning. If your hands work, go like that. Just, just stretch. And what this is, is just a sign of surrender to say, God, it's you. It, I'm giving it, up. giving it up to you. I'm, I'm not going to try it no more. I'm tired. I want you to be God in my life. And let me just go here. It isn't that these men and women up here are perfect or sinless. Um, we got to go to God too. But we just want to connect this morning and just pray and say, Holy Spirit, move. And if you're here, this is the important thing, and have not accepted Christ in your life as Lord and Savior, do not leave the same way you came. If you're not sure whether you're saved or not, come this morning and let's make it right. Amen? Come on, come. If God is speaking to you this morning, come. Jesus.